Hello craft fairies, thank you for joining me. So I'm gonna be working with the concertina dies from Crafters Companion. This is super cute. This one is the border, um, the lace. So there, there, there's two that comes in the kit and I have them both here. So this one is the lace and you can tell by that there or here. And then this one is the vines. So super pretty so we're gonna work with both of them but I'm gonna work with this one first so let me open it and show you so you get three dies and that's pretty much all you need um, the dies measure two inches two inches and three inches so you can use these on odd number cards like a five by seven or you can use them on even number cards like a six by six a four by six whatever um, four and a quarter by five so yeah very versatile before we do that I want to go ahead I have this piece of uh, just a flat canvas here I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and I'm going to um, just use this you can use glue um, I think I just want to use the Mod Podge I have a piece of paper here a card stuck here and I'm just gonna use that and glue this on top so I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Mod Podge and just get it on the canvas and I'm just going to lay the paper um like I said you could use glue um I just think that the Mod Podge is a little better for the canvas um there are many glues out there that will stick to more than just paper um so you just have to get them so I'm using that and I just have a light coating and then I'm going to go back and just do another coating on top and you saw my name there um, I had used this <laughs> uh, maybe two years ago to test my um, uh, I think it's we are memory keepers the little printer that they had so that's why you see that so anyways this is a five by seven canvas so I am just going to take my piece of cardstock and just place it on top of there and you could get this I believe I got this from the dollar store so um, it is kind of it's gonna be messy so be careful um, so I'm just getting that tacked down and if you have um, just grab up you know it is sticky the Mod Podge so just you know you can use a cloth and just kind of get it on there um, if you don't want to have stuff all over your hands so I am just going to lay this over like that and so that it just stays flat and I'm just gonna put that to the side so like I said you can um, you know use glue so anyways we just get that sorry about that laid flat so then now what I'm going to do that is a five by seven so let's do a little bit of math here so a five by seven is actually, let me just grab it back. So for the, if you want the full coverage of your border here, you're going to need to do some measurements. So this is five inches across. So we have two inches for the corner, right? You're gonna have two inches here. So then we need a three inch. Well, this longer one right here is a three inch. So it'll cover it, but it doesn't have the corner it's not the corner piece so you want to use two corners so then the corners is to cut out two for the top so it's two inches two inches plus another two inches that's four inches so we have an inch space of gap here because remember this is five inches so what you got now is a three inch and a two inch so you're going to take the two inch which is this one and two plus two is four plus another two is six we need five so we need to cut an inch off of this so that's what I'm gonna do and it's best to do it before you fold it um, so that's if you want that complete border so I'm just gonna cut a whole inch off of this okay and like I said this is if you want uh, you know the correct measurement so I think it's easier to cut it before you start folding it so I have that there. All right, so I got two pieces. So I'm gonna put that to the side. So now for the five by seven, I've already folded my corner here, folded my corner there. 
and I have two for the top and two for the bottom but I save so one it's really easy to fold I mean you just fold it you know just mountain valley back and forth however you want to call it and then you just do the same thing to this side and there we go so it's super simple just like that so now you have your four corners right so then we have the one inch that we uh, cut you know we had that two inches we cut it in half so we have one inch so you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna fold it on the score lines and then you have this one other piece for the bottom there we go so we have our one inch piece for the bottom and it'll look like that like that and like that and then for the sides so how do you measure the size well the side is seven inches so the corners are two and two again so we got two inches and two inches that's four so we need three inches in the middle well there is a three inches right there so you just cut that out and you just fold it and fold it back fold again and you got your three inches for this side and then I already have one for this side so there we go super easy right so now you just got to get it all glued and adhered on so what you're going to do is take either some tape or some glue I will just use um, should I use tape for speed I'd rather use glue um, I'll just use tape for speed okay so I'm gonna grab some tape here and all you do is just take it and just you see that you're just gonna close it so just like that you see it and it should make like a little M see when you put it together it's gonna make an M so I'm just gonna put some tape right here and close it see just like that and you have your little M all right, so it look, should look like that. So we're gonna actually end up putting tape on both of these full sections because we're gonna glue it on like that, okay? But before I do that, I want to go ahead. So now that you saw how easy it is to fold and to measure that, let me go ahead and decorate and I will put the, um, uh, the, the, the border around last. So to decorate, I have some stays on in fuchsia pink and I'm just going to um, I have a little bit of a white border around my edges of my canvas so I'm just going to ink that and that's optional you can paint it you can ink it um, you can cut the paper a little longer and just you know glue over top of it but I think the ink is nice so that's all I'm doing here just using my sponge dower and just inking the edges And that's a pretty color to go with that paper so yeah you could use these um, these border dies for any project that you want to work on and they're very versatile so I wonder if she'll come out with some holiday ones or maybe she already has I'm not sure this is the first time I'm using these So there we go. So I just wanted to do that. And if you miss some spots or whatever, just. So that's that. Super easy. Just to cover up that. And you can even use um, your oxides, whatever it is that you want to use. So that's done. And then now let's go ahead and finish decorating. So now I'm going to grab me some wet glue. And I am just going to create a little scenery here. So I cut out some little palm fronds or palm leaves um, that I have here and I just cut them out and I'm going to use these in my background and then also I have some little flamingos here that I'm going to use as well so I'm just making a little tropical uh, scene here guys like my hibiscus isn't it pretty for my hibiscus tree isn't it pretty so pretty all right so let me get this going so I'm just gonna figure out where I want my leaves and 
Um, yeah, thought I had more leaves than this. So that's all I'm just doing, just playing around, trying to get my composition going. I think I have more leaves. Okay, so let me kind of clean up a little bit here. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna get these glued down, just a little glue on some of the fronds. So yeah, so I'm just showing you like, I may speed this up. Just creating a cute little project here. just going to I'm going to actually use glue for this and you just put it on your corners so cute and you have to let it dry I'm going to do the same thing for this side but I want to get my one inch on so I'm just put some glue here. About a one inch border. And you just line it up to the previous one, the one next to it. Look at that. Nice. And then I'll do the same to this. finished and the only thing is um these little middle ones are like sticking up but I mean they're supposed to sit up and sit out you know so super cute um I think I want to add some ink to these I should have did that first I don't want to mess my project up but I'll just leave it <laughs> But um, yeah, look how pretty this is. So this is how it will look either on a card or um, on or like I said, the canvas sticks out a little. Um, I mean, they're lined up pretty perfect. I'm not sure how you can combat that. Or, you know, like I said, you don't have to use the middle sections. You could just use the corners only. Um, that's a little annoying, but anyways uh, yeah but it's pretty you no actually want to give this as like a gift you could even take a piece of cardstock a label any whatever and and write something on the back and say to the such and such family 2023 congrats on your new home or um summer vacation i don't know whatever just you know but um so i'm just gonna take some hot glue and just get this on and so yeah that's it so that just makes it um, for you to be able to hang it up for your friend or whoever the recipient to be able to hang it up and that's pretty much it so 
because this is remember you don't only have to use this for cards that's why i did it on the canvas to show you that so super cute so then you just let that dry and now you have this beautiful gift that you can send to your friend and it'll still press flat to go in an envelope. It's just a piece of canvas, so some weight will be to it, but it still goes flat. So yeah, super cute. I hope you like that. All right, so the next one is, um, we're gonna do a card and I have, I'm gonna do a six by six. So here we go. So we got these. So then it's the same two inches, two inches and three inches. So it's the same as the other one, just a different um, pattern. So for six inches, we need two inch border, two inch border. And then you have a three inch and a two inch. We just take a two inch for the middle. So that's if you want to completely do it all the way around. So then you have your two inch border again. And uh oh, a missing one. Leia is has been in here and she loves to take all my pieces that I cut and just choose on them now where did that one go but you have your corners and then you have your two inches for here two inches for there two inches for the middle here two inches for the side and my corner one <laughs> all right so but before we do that I have to get my cart base so I have a pretty this is crafters companion this is um her pearl paper so I'm just gonna get this onto my card. I cut it down to a six by six. It is super pretty. Can you see that? That is so pretty. That's like my favorite paper that she makes is the pearl paper. Like I prefer that over her glitter, her, her matte paper. Um, I like the, the pearl paper. So pretty, oh my God. I want every collection, every paper pad. All right, so this is pretty and I love the colors that I chose. And like I said, it's a six by six. So here, so now you can, like I said, maybe we should just do the corners so you can see how it looks. So I guess I'll just try to do it with the corners, but you do have to glue them together like the last one. So you have to go ahead and, and get your adhesive down. So get these and you glue them the same way it's the same thing just glue one in and just close it like that just the same way it's just different look at that's pretty it says vine but there's a little flower there it's super cute so for my little scene here I have an umbrella that I um, use this same paper I use the back side of this pearl paper and I just heat them, stamped and heat embossed some purple glitter on the back and then I stacked it with some foam tape. And this is just my own little umbrella. I think it's a Crafter's Companion umbrella, honestly. So I'm just gonna kind of tilt that to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and get these on so I can uh, see where I can get my composition of my scene here. So again, just line these up at the corner. So I'm not really sure what happened at that point. I was sitting there recording, not knowing uh, that the sound was not picking up. So um, I will speed through it and you can just see what I'm doing. So I pretty much will put the borders around and then I'll be using some um, paper flowers from Prima. And uh, yeah, so I'll speed that up. So at this point I was explaining what I did. I added some jewels, I added a butterfly, and um, I was showing that you could also add a sentiment to it if you like, um, you know, to 
for your card. I also remember explaining that you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know, a lot of times I don't put sentiments on the front of my cards because when I sell them, sometimes I get a request for a card that I made for a birthday, but they wanted to get well soon or uh, thank you or whatever. So I kind of leave them blank um, for uh, personalization. So yeah, so that is the card and I'll be showing that. And then again, the other project that we made with the canvas and yeah, um, all, overall, I do like these dies. And I also remember saying that I, at first I didn't want to do it with the four corners, but actually I think it turned out pretty uh, good. So yeah, so that's me showing that part there, that the sentiment. So um, I think the card turned out really cute. Uh, April showers brings May flowers. I've been hearing that since I was little, so I decided to do a little April showers card. Um, it is the month of May, so all that rain brought all these beautiful florals. And yeah, so I hope you like this project. And I hope you had an awesome time watching the video. I hope you like the canvas project. And please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Let me know, comment, whatever. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Bye.